In example number three, we're going to find the missing side of a triangle. Um, I'm going to label this A. And again, we're going to use a Pythagorean theorem. So I'm going to have A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. In this, time, in this instance, A and 7 are my legs. 14 is my hypotenuse, so I can put that in. A squared plus 7 squared is equal to 14 squared. Kind of looks like 142 there. We'll put it up a little bit higher there. And um, so I'm going to have a squared plus 49 is equal to, see, 14 squared is 196. And then I can subtract 49 from both sides and say 196 minus 49. And I get a squared is equal to 147. So <clears throat> the difference here is we look at this and we say, okay, um, are there any perfect squares in 147? And so your perfect squares is like 2 times 2 is 4, uh, 3 times 3 is 9. Um, then we, what do we have next? Uh, 2, 3, 4 is 16, 25, 36, 49, 64. You know, you can start looking in there. And in fact, because what we want to do is we want to reduce this. And I got ahead of myself here because I take the square root of both sides. So A is equal to the square root of 147. 147 is not a perfect square. So we start seeing, can I reduce this? Are there any perfect squares in there? And there actually is. I get the square root of 49 times 3. So I can go ahead and I can take the perfect square out and say, the square root of 49 is 7, and that leaves me square root of 3. So A is equal to 7 square root of 3 is the measurement of that leg.